Welcome to this review on Ignis Bubble Boy. Ignis Bubble Boy look like a contact boy. They have a knob, a rope, and a boy head on the end. Uh, at about 95 to 100 millimeter diameter, it does have a little bit of a bump at the top, uh, but otherwise super round. We've got also a round handle of adjustable weight uh, and a poi tether that's a very flexible uh, type, maybe six to eight millimeter nylon rope. The balls on these are printed in a kind of a 3D printed vinyl type material, um, similar to the Izo poi. Um, the bubble poi have the same uh, feeling of material with horizontal lines, um, and when you touch it, it's kind of grippy, uh, but quite flexible at the same time. While being flexible, it doesn't affect the LEDs at all, so you can press exactly into where the LEDs are, and they all still function, being on a strip that goes from the top to the bottom. They have three strips of pixels that when you rotate, will give you a display. Uh, it's also gyroscope centered, so it will adjust based on the rotation speed as well to display the image in approximately the same position as it was before. As you can see, it displays pretty well when you're rotating around this bearing that's at the poi head. When you're rotating the poi, it also displays super well. So this is due to that from any one angle, you can still see a strip of LEDs. Uh, and while it's rotating around, it's pushed by a gyroscope to uh, update the image at the same speed that you're rotating. So yeah, from a perspective of someone watching what you're doing, they'll be able to see the images that you've got displayed on there. So how they feel performance wise, they feel pretty much like a contact poi, um, as you would expect with a, a flexible tether, a round handle and a round head, they behave fairly normally in all of those senses. For myself, I prefer a thicker tether, so we're going to have a look at doing a conversion to a thicker tether in here, which I predict will not let me use the two bearings that are still uh, embedded in the head and the handle for these. But otherwise, these are great contact poi. So you can use them for pretty much anything, and having the swivels enables you to do stuff like uh, orbitals as well. So you can do things like... Like that, with no worries. The poi are super easy to navigate as well. So as you turn them on, it'll show you the, the battery setting uh, firstly while it's turning on. Um, so how much battery is left. And then you get to this menu. So on the start here, the first menu, you'll come across all these uh, different timeline modes. The first three being some preset ones, and the next four being some timelines that you can program as well. So you can program these to have whatever images you like in a certain sequence uh, that are embedded and stored in the POI as well. Um, so if you go to this first mode here, this just cycles through all of the patterns that are contained in the POI. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been using since I've had them. So you can just go straight into all of the patterns. The next thing you find on the menu, uh, as you cycle through, so you have to navigate a little bit to get through this menu, um, you can just hold the button and that'll cycle to the next option. So you can use that just to cycle through. So with a hold for about one second and then release, you get to the next setting there. The next menu you get to after the mode menu is this brightness menu here. Um, right now I'm at about 70, 60% uh, brightness and just a single tap will cycle through all of your brightness settings. So up to uh, full brightness here, which is super bright, so very visible in daylight with that one. Uh, to navigate uh, back a step in your first menu, you can get to the battery indicator and back again to the normal menu and that will navigate again to the, the previous selection. So again, uh, a short hold will get you to the next selection, navigating to the battery menu and back will get you back one step. Other than that, you can use the Ignis mobile app to get through a lot of your settings as well um, in a much nicer interface um, and with the Bluetooth connection to these that makes it super easy to navigate. The Bluetooth connection was actually super easy to set up compared to like any other Bluetooth device I've used with my phone. It was like way quicker so it recognized the poise straight away. Um, you get an indication of your connection power and your battery life for each individual point. So that can be super handy if you've got a performance coming up and you want to know exactly how much battery you've got left. 
Um, and you can choose through all of your patterns, which will update all of them to that same pattern. Um, you can also individually select poi, you can change your uh, timing of sequences, so say you've got your uh, random type selection, so this will cycle through random patterns on the poi. You can change it so it changes every one second, it'll switch to a new pattern. Cool, so making quite a fast selection there. Or you can make it up to 8 seconds, so it spends quite a lot of time on this. Sweet. You can also change your brightness from here, which is super handy, so without having to go through that menu, you can just select it, and that'll adjust automatically. You also get some training stats, so how long you've been spinning, how many calories you've used, uh, the rate of your rotation, so how fast you're spinning, um, how many spins you've done, your stalls, throws, drops, and all those kind of metrics as well. So I haven't had to charge my batteries yet since I've got them. Um, if I check them now, they're at a kind of two LEDs from being full, so at like a, a fairly high percentage at the moment. Um, so I won't need to charge them for quite a while, operating on about 60% brightness. Um, you'll find their full stats on the website. I'm not sure I'll get time to test uh, the full uh, length of the battery life, that type of thing, but I would trust the statistics that are on there. Um, I'm imagining Drex will do some review of these and probably have that battery life for you. I've been dropping these poi a lot uh, while I've been training as well, and so far no damage or anything like that. Usually that's not the case with the poi head anyway, um, so you usually wouldn't get much damage. Uh, but as you can see these are super flexible, uh, and from just high impacts on the ground we've had no issues at all so far. The charging port isn't covered here, so I'm a little bit worried about like dust and dirt and that kind of thing getting in there. So I'm going to have to be careful in dusty areas or if it's at all wet or anything like that outside. Uh, the only thing about durability so far that's been a downside is this cap has like come out of a handle uh, during practice. So upon like a hit on the ground I've had that little cap um, for the weights in the handle come out. Um, that being said, everything in there is quite secure so I've just had to find that cap and put that back on. So I'm not sure if that'll be a recurring issue, it might just be on a particular one that that's happened. In the pack that I got, I also got this, uh, so some adjustable weights, uh, some extra bearings and bits and pieces, so all the bits needed for replacement and that type of thing here. Um, also some covers for the, the battery charging ports, um, so I'll be able to slot those in and have a little bit of protection on the end of the point heads there. Um, and yeah, some washers to change weight in the point handles. Also got this bag, sweet, nice little soft carry bag for the point. Uh, and just some charging uh, devices for a European charging plug, so not sure that'll help me here, but while I'm traveling that'll be sick, um, and enough to charge the, the three poi while I'm traveling as well. Ignis bubble poi are the first contact pixel poi on the market, um, so they've broken new ground and created a product that uh, hasn't existed before this moment. Um, previous to this, there's been LED contact poi, there's been pixel poi that are almost like contact poi to use, um, but these bridge that gap of having a pixel poi and a contact poi in one unit. 